Okay. Okay. So I just had this insight dawn on me and it is that we cannot expect people who are not free to free us. How did I come upon this insight? Well, I just shared a lot with a particular person that is in a field (laughs) where it seems like they would be able to set me free. But that is not what I experienced. I actually experienced, um, I guess, picking up a lot of their own conditioning. Their own conditioning came out. I'm being very vague just to protect identities. But yeah, it it is very interesting, though, um, because I was pretty thrown off at first because here I am opening up about super deep traumatic topics. And instead of those topics or those pains being transmuted, I am, I am bringing them up to the surface and it feels so painful only for it to be in a way like digested in a way that only further strengthens the unhelpful narrative in which I am like that I am stuck in. Um, And at first I felt, I felt some like, like what, the hell (laughs) what the hell um you know some confusion and like like maybe even some anger towards the person not being able to um help me but then I realized as I listened to her speak that she has a lot of her own conditioning that she's not free of, right? So she is taking my narrative and running it through her narrative. And yeah, I mean, that doesn't help anyone get free of their own narrative. Um, That is holding them back from living the expansive life that they want to live, that they want to experience firsthand. I think this dynamic can show up in a lot of ways. Um, It can be um, a therapist, a parent, a friend, a lover. We turn to these people sometimes thinking that they can set us free when they don't even know how to set themselves free. And I think when we understand this, we can actually have compassion for them instead of being upset that they weren't able to solve the problem that we aren't even able to solve for ourselves and that they probably couldn't even solve for themselves if they went through it, right? Um, So yeah. I just wanted to share that insight. I don't know if there's anything more to add to it or anything deeper. I I guess um, I don't want to just say like, no one can help us. But I think also just some like faulty belief that I've I know that I have inside myself and I think a lot of people have too that isn't really necessarily true is that a lot of times we expect healing and 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 change and growth to be like this instantaneous like thing that's like this this 
complete 180, this transformation, like a, um, like a, like a caterpillar going into the chrysalis and emerging as the butterfly. And it's just like this climatic, like, wow, you know, <laughs> like, like I, one day I was just this heart, like this person who was living under all of these painful illusions and beliefs and, and, and then just the next day I woke up and everything was magically so solved and my life is so much better. Yay. <laughs> like, it's just not how it goes. Um, I mean, I have read like testimonies before and stuff where change has been that dramatic. And I think at times we do get little peaks into freedom, right? But we don't sustain it um, because we persist. We persist in the old story, the old narrative. And we just have to let that go. We have to like completely free ourselves. And a lot of times it's just not helpful to repeat the unhelpful narrative only to, to someone else who is persisting in their own narrative that has some kinks within it as well. And then, yeah, they're just kind of running it through their own filtering system and, and giving feedback off of that, which in the end is not getting you the result of the freedom you want to experience, right? The freedom from the pain um, and the expansive feeling you get from living in alignment out of your head, out of the old story, living in alignment with what truly lights you up, brings you to life, um, and, and makes you feel just freaking overjoyed. <laughs> All right, well, that's my little venting sesh for today. Um, I hope you were able to glean some helpful lesson um, from what I shared. And yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. I want to kind of see if other people have had this experience of turning to other people, hoping that they can offer you freedom and, and maybe what you found along the way, if you've been able to just turn within and free yourself. Okay. Well, have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye.